The Braxton family is back on television with their new Wii TV reality series, The Braxtons, bringing audiences a closer look at their lives following the end of Braxton family values. For Tawanda and Trina Braxton, returning to the screen feels like coming home after a long journey. In a recent interview, the sisters shared their thoughts on why this was the perfect moment to return and what they hope to convey through this new show. The Braxtons follow sisters Tony, Tamar, Trina, and Tawanda Braxton, along with their mother, Ms. E, as they navigate life after the heartbreaking loss of their sister, Tracy Braxton. Through emotional flashbacks and intimate family gatherings, the series offers a raw and personal look at how the family is coping and finding strength in each other as they grieve. Tawanda expressed that the decision to return to television was deeply connected to Tracy's wishes. When Tracy was transitioning, she wanted to tell her own story. She told us, I want you guys to do the show because I want you to tell my story. We said, okay, Tawanda shared. The new series serves as a tribute to Tracy, fulfilling her desire to have her story told and to keep her spirit alive. The sisters also noted that while this isn't their first experience with reality TV, this show is different. For Trina, the absence of Tracy is deeply felt, but the show also captures the familiar, quirky dynamics that fans have always loved about the Braxtons. The difference is the elemental loss of Tracy, but you still get to see your favorite Braxtons just slightly older, Trina said with a touch of humor. At its core, the Braxtons is a celebration of Tracy's life. Tawanda reflected on the impact Tracy had, saying, I want the world to remember Tracy as an amazing spirit. She was a fighter, the strongest person I've ever known. Even in the end, she still wanted to fight. The show allows the family to share Tracy's story and ensure that her legacy endures. A lot has happened since the Braxton family completed their tenure on Braxton Family Values. But the family has returned to television in the new WeTV reality series, The Braxtons. For Tawanda Braxton and Trina Braxton, being on television feels amazing. Speaking to the sisters ahead of their brand new series, the women had a lot to share on why this was the right moment to return and what stories they wanted to share. The Braxtons follow sisters Tony Braxton, Tamar Braxton, Trina, and Tawanda, as well as their mother, Ms. E, as they navigate life following the passing of Tressie Braxton. Through raw flashbacks and family gatherings, the women attempt to pick up the pieces and find the strength to grieve. Trina and Tawanda joined Collider virtually as they spoke about the importance of this series, as well as shared just what makes their dynamics so special. After congratulating Trina and Tawanda on their return, Tawanda shared that it felt amazing. But as Trina put it, you know what it feels like. It feels like you've been on a really long vacation. And now you're finally home and you're sleeping in your own bed. On the Braxtons, the series starts off with the difficult realities of rallying back as a family following the loss of their beloved sister after her battle with cancer. But there had to be a reason to return to television at this moment for this show. And it was Tracy. When Tracy was transitioning, she wanted to tell her own story. She wanted to tell her story. And then she told us that, hey guys, I want you to do the show because I want you guys to tell my story. We said, okay, shares Tawanda. We TV invited them home, and the rest is history. Of course, the Braxtons was not Trina and Tawanda's first time doing a docu-reality series. With a little experience under their belt, there was something different about this show. For Trina, she shared, the difference, you know, quite obviously, is that elemental loss of Tressie. She's definitely missed. That Tracy spark is definitely missed. She joked, but also you still get to still see your other favorite Braxtons. Still up to our quirky little things that we used to do, but just slightly older. New show, same antics. At the heart of the Braxtons, it is a celebration of Tracy Braxton. By sharing Tracy's story on television, the family has the opportunity to give the world a chance to remember Tracy the best way possible. I want the world to remember Tracy as being Tracy and that she was an amazing spirit. She was a fighter. She's the strongest person I've ever met or known before in my life. She fought to the very end. 
And even in the end, she still wanted to fight, Tawanda said. I want everybody to remember her as being an amazing, wonderful spirit and an amazing mother, an amazing sister. She was just an incredible human being, and I just think that we were so blessed that God placed her so gently into our lives. While she may not be physically there, a part of Tracy lives on on the show. Expressing grief and going through a period of mourning is central to the story on the Braxtons. For Trina, this was her opportunity to do this out loud. After some reflection, it reminded me that this is why we're doing this show in the first place. That's why Braxton Family Values 12 years ago did it in the first place. We wanted the fans and our viewers to know and understand and realize that we're just like everybody else. This loss affects us just as much as it would anybody else. It's true. Everyone grieves. She continued. And it's okay to grieve. And it's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to move forward with your life without feeling regret. It's okay to move forward with your life without feeling, oh my gosh, well, I'm grieving, but how long does it take for me to grieve? There is no right or wrong answer for anyone. And you have to have grief at your own pace, in your own time, and in the way you grieve. Everybody's not going to grieve the same. Beyond sharing Tracy's journey, the Braxtons has allowed viewers to come back and watch the sisters be sisters. Trina and I are the closest in age. Trina and I are only 15 months apart, and everybody else is like two years and two and a half years apart. The fact that me and Trina live in the same state, it helps a lot. And then Trina owned a restaurant and she, you know, she, she bartended and had a mobile bar that helped a lot too. Tawanda joked, Trina's just fun. She's just not my sister, she's my friend, you know? And even if we weren't sisters, she would be my friend and that's special. Everybody's dynamics of a family. You have that person that you can be like, okay, if that person was not my family member, I would like that person. I would hang out with that person. And that for me is Trina. Tawanda did say it was Tracy too, as it was me, Trina, and Tracy. Trina rifted off her sister and said, and not to take away from, you know, our two remaining sisters, but like Tawanda said, we were the closest in proximity of age and distance from one home to another, and we actually hang out with each other, like we don't need the cameras to be on us. We are on the phone with each other at least six to eight times a day, yeah. And it's just, I love her. I choose her. To keep things fun and lighthearted, we played a little word association game called Tea Time. I gave them a name of a family member, and they shared a word or phrase to describe them. We started with Tony. Trina said sultry, to which Tawana agreed. With Tamar, Trina simply said, I'm sorry, before saying she joking. Tawanda found it so hilarious before saying she would have said brat. Decided not to say it out loud. She said, Giving people grace is what I'm trying to do these days in my life. For their mother, Ms. E., Tawanda and Trina agreed on talented. Of course, we had to end with one another. For Tawanda, Tawanda said amazing, as Trina said, secret squirrel. And for Trina, Trina simply said, you're welcome, as Tawanda laughed and said, wonderful. The world is getting another chance to hang out with the Braxtons. For some, this is their first time meeting. No matter what, Tawanda and Trina are excited to return to the screen and share the story of Tracy through one another, as well as her son Kevin, who will be featured on the series. At the end of the day, the Braxtons takes a hard look at grief and loss, reminding viewers of the importance of taking the time personally to do it on your terms.